Hi, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. And welcome back if you watch my videos. I'm looking a little extra today because I'm working on a TikTok that has sort of a Stevie Nicks reference. And I wanted to wear this outfit and I needed a headband for it. And this is just a tie headband. So I thought it'd be fun to make it with you. Um, it's just like braids and flowers and beads and fringe. It's a lot of fun. So I would love to post the TikTok on this video, but I can't because it has a music um, soundtrack that would be an issue with copyright and all of that. But if you want to see the video that I make, it's just real short and just kind of goofy, but it's um, on my TikTok if you have the app. My username on there is at Freight and Fabulous. So let's get started. I just started with five colors of yarn and I wanted to match my outfit. So I used like a lavender, kind of a mustard color, ivory, dark brown and green. And then I cut multiple colors. I cut nine pieces, 72 inches long. Now this is super long and that's what I want for my look, but yours doesn't have to be that long. Now before I braid the yarn, I want to make one more strip of suede so that I can add beads to it. And I don't have a piece of suede 72 inches long, so I'm going to have to create my own. And I do suede and leather fringe from jackets mainly from Goodwill and cut them up. And so this is just a chunk out of a suede jacket. And I'm going to round the corners. And I will just cut, start cutting on the side as narrow as I want it. I want mine to try to be about quarter of an inch. And I'll just keep cutting one continuous piece going around and around and around. Okay. I have my suede piece all cut and it's a little bit longer than the yarn and I decided that's what I want and so now I need to braid it so I will tie a knot about right here because I want some fringes hanging down still so I'll put a knot right there and then when I'm done braiding I'll try to sort of match the length that I have on this end. Okay, so how I braid my really long braids. On my background wall here, I have a hook that um, I hang clothes on and stuff for pictures. So I use that hook and I just set this knot right on top of it. And that just holds it for me. And then I start braiding. And you have to go slow at first because the ends will get all tangled up if you don't go slow and get them out of the way almost every single time you twist it. And then down at the end you can go a little faster, but you know, it's a basic braid. I think most of us know how to do that. So. I'll just keep going to the end and tie my knot. So here is my braid all finished with the yarn and the suede fringe. And what I do next is I fold this in half and then I go up to this top end where I folded it and I mark down from this top end eight and a half inches. And then I stick a pin on this side and this side, eight and a half inches from the fold. There are my little pins. And the reason I do that is because this is approximately where the knot will be when it's tied on the head. And I just leave those pins in there until I'm finished because that shows me 
don't sew anything right there because it will get caught in the knot. And so I will, those will just be my marker. And the next thing I'm going to do is I have this basket of flowers and they're just from past projects. They're from flea markets. Anytime I have like a spare flower laying around from somewhere, I just throw it in this basket and then I have something to go to if I need flowers for a project. And so I selected a few flowers out of there already. Now these are just floral appliques that you iron on, but I'll sew them. These are just little crochet flowers from doilies. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, and just this random little silk flower that basically you call a fake flower, whatever. It's purple, I liked it because of that, and it'll be easy to sew. And so what I do is I just kind of lay these on there where I think it looks good. There's no, you know, this is just a little bit of artistry. There's no rhyme or reason really to it. And then down at, after the pins, I don't want to put any flowers right there. I'll put a few more flowers down here on the braid part. I'm not sure if this is the exact lineup I'll use. I'll play with it a little more. But I also have these little crochet leaves that came off of a doily. And maybe I'll put those there on the end of the braid or towards the end. So I'll position them the way I want it, and then I'll get them pinned on, and then I'll show you what that looks like, and then I'll show you what I do next. Now I have my flowers where I want them, and they're pinned on. And those two pins that we put eight and a half inches up, we don't need those anymore. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to sew where I shouldn't be sewing. So now I will take this to my machine, and I will do a zigzag stitch, and I will start at the end of my braid, put it in my machine. I'm going to use gold thread because it seems to be sort of the most inconspicuous um, color when you're using a variety of colors. It doesn't really stand out that much. So I'll do a zigzag stitch using a gold thread. I'll start here and just sew over top of all those pieces just once till I get to the other end. Okay, so I'm at my machine. Now here's one end, and there's the knot. I don't want to sew over that knot, so I'll just start in my braid part way down there, and I'll just do a zigzag stitch, go forward and back stitch. And now when I get to the flower, I'll just remove the pin, just kind of hold my flower in place. And just sew right over top of it. And I'll do that all the way down until I'm done sewing my flowers on. Okay, so now I have my flowers all sewn on. You know, just use your imagination. I've made tons of these and I've used just fabric strips. I've used lace. I've used just all leather. You can do anything that you want. And I've also sewn on, so like at this point, I would do some hand sewing. On this one, I just want it very simple, so I'm not going to, but like chandelier earrings, I've sewn, and so they kind of hang down on the side of the head. That's more of a festival sort of headpiece. You know, you can sew rhinestones on it if you have like a, a lacy, elegant one, maybe for a wedding. Um, I've drooped pearls onto them. Boy, you can do anything you want, and there are just so many possibilities. But this is all I want for now, except I am going to add some beads to this very end piece of suede. Okay, so. I went to my stash of beads, and I have a ton. I have about 50 bags like this. And if you're going to be um, fringe, like the suede or leather fringe, you wanna make sure that your beads have large holes. 
And they can be kind of expensive beads to buy at like Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabric and kind of hard to find the large holes. But do you want to know one of the best sources that I have found to find these are thrifted necklaces. They a lot of times will be beaded with large hole beads. So just look at the necklaces and cut them up and use the beads off of those. So what I do, to, I'm going to bead, there's a suede fringe on one end of the headband and one on the other. And I'm going to bead both of those. And so I start out by just making sort of a point on my suede fringe so that the bead can go in there easily. And then I'll just put whatever beads on that I want and just stick them through the holes, slide them up. You know, sometimes if I'm being particular, I'll kind of line these up in the order I want to put them on. But this one's just sort of a quick, you know, I didn't, I don't really care. I just want this one to be random and boho and I don't want it to look uniform or anything. So I'll just keep beating these beads on and I'll come back. I want to show you one other quick little tip. So sometimes you might struggle getting that fringe through the bead. Like this one has a small, the hole is smaller on the opposite side. So I just take a pin and I just push that through until it pops out and then I pull it. Okay, it's all done. Flowers are all sewn on. Beads are all at the bottom. All right, I'll put it on again and come back. Okay, I have it in my hair. And this is just a fun accessory and it kind of goes with my style and the clothes and things and purses that I post tutorials on, on here. So thanks for watching.